The other thing we've been doing is, <coughs> even though it may sound like a no-brainer to put the building, the, the school uh, project on the existing school site, given the stadium that's been built and the middle school proximity, we did want to do the due diligence and go out and look at all of the town-owned property that would have the size, acreage, if you will, to support the school. Um, the town helped us great, um, greatly with this, so we put all this together. And what we've highlighted here is the middle high school site for several reasons. You'll see that some of these properties that were listed are deeded to conservation. Some are landlocked. Um, some are currently used by park and recreations with limited road access. So remember, if you pick a site, you got to get the school buses there, and you have to have the population of the school coming there. So traffic in those areas change dramatically, which is why we're doing the traffic study at the high school. Um, and some of these are, you know, <coughs> landfill properties. Um, so if you take a look at this the way we did, and we kind of said, is it suitable or not for a school location? Um, we're recommending um, through the working group. So the working group met, and the working group rec recommendation was we should stick with the new site. Um, so that's where we are with that. Does anybody have any questions about the sites, or do you recognize any sites up there you want to ask about? <clears throat> okay. Does that everybody seem to be in agreement with that? Because <clears throat> you have to prove to MSBA that we've looked at other sites? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Right. And yeah. The pros and cons for each site and the recommendation based on what Ron just mentioned. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, most times it's a pretty perfunctory <clears throat> exercise, but you want to go and make sure that there's not something out there that would be more conducive in the town to being able to go and, and you know, do a project like this. And, and there really does not <coughs> appear to be. You know, this is already set up for it. Uh, in a lot of regards, you know, proximity to your fields, you know, everybody knows it's here, it's sized. This is still a really, really tight site for everything that we're trying to get on it. Even, you know, when you look at it, it feels pretty big. Uh, it, it's, it eat, gets eaten up pretty quickly. Can I just say, I thought one of the intriguing sites originally was that the other Landry Ave site, so across the street, and if anybody's interested, it's, it's half the size, basically, of the current site and so in theory and if I if, correct me if I'm wrong mm -hmm. we could have maybe like, squeezed the building on there that would be set back really far very far from the past road. the wetlands mm -hmm. or whatever so basically you'd have a building <coughs> in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. or almost a half mile walk we figured right to the to the, to yeah. the fields and other parts of the campus so it seemed great up front I just want to say this for the record but it's not viable, really, right? Is right. that correct? Correct. Yeah. And then the, the issues you have with arrivals and departures now would be even worse because of the frontage, mm -hmm. if right. I remember correctly, was very narrow so frontage. Narrow, yeah. Yeah. So the flexibility around that. And then the abutters and other, you know, there were, there were a number. Of, um, so because of the wetlands, just to, to your point, the school would have to be put pretty close to the abutters' property lines. Um, to be able to get the school in there plus the parking and because it's smaller um, it says 65 acres but when you take away all of the river protection at setbacks and all the wetland setbacks you have a very tight site so there's not even space to build a stadium or fields so you'd probably be able to build the school and the parking way back in the back of the site then you'd need safe access across Landry Street to come over and use the field. Yeah, it's 32 acres, 32 acres so yeah, you're yeah. starting smaller, and then you're restricted by um, setbacks. So, All right. Thank you. 